right. Hello, everybody. I'm Alex. Uh, I'm here joined with Roger, uh, one of the members of the semantic kernel team, and we're going to be talking about pre and post hooks or how some other people call callbacks uh, in the semantic kernel and why they're important, how it's implemented and what you can do with it going forward. We definitely believe it's a huge unlock for a lot of different scenarios, and it's an important feature that you'll want to use as you're building AI apps, co-pilots, chatbots and whatnot. So I'll ha hand it off to Roger to talk more about it. All right, folks. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for this call, uh, Alex. And yeah, I'm very happy to be here and also talking about this uh, really wished feature uh, regarding uh, being able to add hooks in your kernel run sync instance. So ba the basically, basically the initial idea uh, using this is to really adding more more kind of handlers, more capabilities to your functions invocations. So normally you want to um, assess, change something, filter something. So having the, the ability to do something before functions are invoked and after those adds, adds more value and also adds more potential to things that you can do with your functions from a, a, a lot of very different points of view and different approaches that you can use with those events. So examples of usages including uh, filtering, uh, as I mentioned before, changing, uh, skipping functions. So if you have a pipeline of functions, you, you have the ability now to decide in which you want to skip one of those functions. Also, uh, ability to cancel the execution if something uh, in your loop, in your in your logic doesn't want that to follow through. So you can now cancel also depending on, on, on something that happened before calling or, or even after. Um, so basically, uh, this allows you to do a lot of things as well as uh, more advanced scenarios in which you can add retry capabilities. So if you want to if you have a scenario in which after the execution of a function, you want to retry it, yeah, you will be able to, okay, I, I didn't like the, the output or the results of this function, and you can just in, in your handler that uh, and make the kernel know that, okay, I want to re, re, repeat or retry that, and it will just uh, invoke the, the retry for that. So, and this is just the, 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 the initial version of this, after we will we'll potentially add more behavior, add more properties that you'll be able to access in the event arms to work with. Uh, so basically, yeah, this is something that already adds a lot of things, a lot of potentials to what you can do in pre-post uh, handlers, hooks. And yeah, basically, yeah, that the, the, the initial idea is really to be able to, for all the functions you don't want to implement the same logic, you just want something that is observing what is happening in the kernel, that will be a, 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 a perfect example scenario for that. So if you want to just observe what is happening in your functions, trigger some logging, trigger some, some other external service just to, to be looking what is happening there from a telemetry perspective, from other types of, of logics that demands that, yeah, that's pretty much uh the, the 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 scenarios for it but the scenarios are endless basically yeah they yeah for sure yeah yeah for sure and i'm sure we can go into more te technical details about the imp implementation but before we do that let's just how about we show it off yeah sure um yeah i can i can share my piece of my let me see yeah can you see my screen just yes confirm. Yeah, perfect. Maybe, so maybe zoom in two levels. OK. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. So this is the, the example. So our repo has uh, a kernel examples, and there are many of different examples. So any new feature that we develop and implement, we normally add a new example how to use those features. And for this example, I have the 57 example, so it's a lot. And this one includes how the, so just really simple cases, how you can use the the hooks. So in here, I'm just using one example to get the usage. Uh, we have the change in the result. So something like adding filtering, something I, I, 
that's a bad word in the prompt. For example, in the request or in the response, you can just filter that. Uh, cancel, canceling some execution before, so you identify a reason to cancel before, after, as well as skipping, just if you have mud, any functions and you want to skip some of those, you can do that in a repeat. So these are, this just gives uh, implementations examples in, in which you can uh, try to do. So the, the overall idea uh, is that you have the kernel instance and you have um, handlers. Uh, in this example, I have the MyPre handler here, just as an example. You know, you want to just write line what is the plugin and what was the function that was executed. Uh, so just to, to 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 trigger something outside, you can do whatever you want inside of that handler and use the uh, properties that uh, we give back in the event args. So some of those properties includes the metadata of the function as well as the model result that you can use. So um, so basically here I'm just uh, saying what is the function name. Uh, my removed uh, ex execution handler. So the same way that you can uh, attach a function, you can remove that function. So is the is the is a very uh, uh, normal way of uh, using events in the C sharp. So so the, the the way in the implementation how it happens is you have the kernel. The kernel exposes two at the moment two events that you can uh, um, register. And I just register him in the invoking, which is before is the 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 pre handler here. So I'm adding my pre handler to the invoking event, and I add my post execution handler to the invoked uh, example. So in the in the post, normally if in the post execution you have more information, like the result of that of that call to that LM. So you, you are able to add to additional stuff as well as change before uh, returning the, that result from the function if you want like filtering or, or anything like that and you can just apply that so so it's pretty much straightforward you have two two handlers here i'll assign a handler i also i'm, I'm just as an example if i want to assign and the the, uh, the register uh, uh, a handler i'm using the the, the minus equal here so basically and all i have to do is just call uh, the kernel normally what i would do uh, and pass down uh, like the input for for this semantic function so the running this uh, will give me the uh, exactly uh, the console right lines uh, from 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 this call in which will give me the the, the expected result uh, yeah, so here's the uh, demo uh, example 57. This you can see in the repo. So basically, there is uh, some user use cases, simple use use case how you can use the the handlers, the pre post hook handlers. So this one, the first one is to just get the usage. So how, how many tokens was there, uh, and more details that you want from the the result. Uh, the second one is just getting the changing result. I think so. I'm I'm just changing the results as a filtering uh, on top of uh, what is the what is the output of that function. Uh, the third one is if I want to cancel the invocation, the cancel the pipeline before uh, executing a function. So for example, I, I just realized that's something that I need to cancel before that uh, and after the same thing. So after the execution, I can cancel the the, the rest of the pipeline as well as skipping. Uh, so we have the skipping and repeat uh, examples here. So yeah, let's run this uh, and uh, just give a, a high overview. So yeah, I'm running here. I'm just going to put the breakpoint in the get usage. Let's step into this. So in the in the execution, I create a kernel instance. I'm creating an excuse function. I set in the max tokens and everything else. Uh, I already have those methods, which is my handlers, uh, implementing some of those uh, handling examples. Um, and here is the one of the important aspects of it. So after I have the kernel, I can uh, register my handlers to the specific uh, events. So I'm, I'm registering my pre-handler to the invoking with this pre-execution. 
uh, invoked after the, 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 the execution of the, of the function. And here is just a quick example how I can register and unregister a function. So I'm, I'm just removing uh, the function. So the removed uh, will not will never be reached out. So this is just to, to prove this. Uh, and yeah, let's let's run the, the example and see what is the result, right? I'm running the example. Uh, let me get this bigger. So this is the result at, at the moment. So the function result, let's skip this one. So having the result, I have this exactly uh, what, what you can see here. So the pre-execution handler was triggered. The post-execution handler towards a total tokens in one, three, one, three, two. So the execution, um, it should actually be uh, that get results, uh, get value, value string. And this should give me the actual result. Let me go back here and post this one. Yep, so the result is I missed the F1 final race. Yeah, so that's basically that. So yeah, it's good that just spotted one, one small thing here. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much one example of getting the, the total tokens of the of this. But of course, you in the implementation of this method, you can get more data. So whatever is your logic, you can implement anything here after the execution. So Cool. Well, Roger, that was very great to, to see. I think uh, these sort of capabilities actually uh, introduce more functionality and even more control over whatever the end application is for people using the semantic kernel. So definitely excited to see more. Uh, Roger, I guess for the audience, for the community, can you maybe give a preview of what the future of this particular area could look like? Yeah, so the, the overall idea is that uh, we, we can add more capabilities and even more events and handling in the future. So uh, detecting errors that happen so we can handle errors or uh, more properties that are for the use case of that function. So yeah, that's, that's just the beginning and probably we'll be adding more capabilities and even more uh, logic in, in which you can use in your pipeline. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Well, thank you, Roger, for taking this time to, to show this off. And yeah, thank you. Thank you, Alex. Thanks for the time. Yeah, look Not forward to the community. Look forward to the community to see what they build with this. Okay. Thank you very much, Alex. All right. Take care. Yeah.